uh, right now in the preparation towards a fight against Jacobs? Well, the preparation for the Daniel Jacobs fight with Luis Adias is very going very well. He's, he's on track and he's doing the things that need to be done in order for him to be victorious in this fight. One of the main things they worked on is the body attack because Luis's body attack is so tremendous. And, you know, Jacobs, while he's, he's good, he's a decent fighter, he's not what they think he is or what he's made out to be. So the body attack can be very, it's, it's what we need in this, in this fight. What are some, what's, what's the, what is the strategy for the fight against Jacobs? Well, I, I can't curse, so I won't. <laughs> yeah, you know, look, just to be smart, you know, listen, break him down systematically. I, I won't give you the game plan, but he has to be smart, you know, and, and break him, break Daniel down systematically. You know, do what he does best and, and just show the world what he does best and, and not let Jacobs do what he thinks that he does best, which is not a whole lot of much. Uh, you know, just tune in on, May, on, on November 11th. You're going to see a very, very good fight between one promising future world champion and, and one guy who's trying to stay on top. Uh, you, you know, the fight fan needed to realize Jacobs is good, but he's not as good as the public the sees him to be because his, his manager, Al Heyman, had done a great job with him. So Luis will be victorious come November 11th.